is an a-hole. Is an a-hole. Yeah. That was an a-hole move right. uh, by an a, a ungracious winner uh, on the road, and he should be fined. Schwartz, he should not. I mean, these people. Oh, Schwartz, he's going to get fined. For he chasing him down, he'll he be fined. And, and, and it might be a bigger he fine. Be, he shouldn't be. It might be it's, a bigger fine than and, Harbaugh and, gets. Uh, and, and I listen to these, these TV guys who are just afraid. They're just afraid to say something. It's simple. You know, Harbaugh's a dink. Harbaugh shoved him. Anybody in that situation would have reacted. And said an obscenity, too, like, bleep, yeah, we well, won. Was what? that the, do we know what the obscenity, I mean, I'm guessing it was that. Yeah, but, but I don't think he said bleep you, but I think in, in his ebullience. I think it was a fudge, uh, <laughs> fudge, fudge, fudge you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, it was a. It, oh. But just because he hit him hard on the back, is that such a bad thing? I mean, yeah, he slapped yeah, him on the back. If he did that, if I were Schwartzy, I would not have run up and said something. I would have run up and sucker punched him. That's what he should have done. Then he would have been fine, but he would have been worth Let's it. Let's listen to Harbaugh. I was just really revved up. And uh, that's totally on me. I, I I shook his hand too hard. I mean, I really went in, and it was a strong, you know, kind of a slap, grab, handshake. It was like that was on me. A little too hard of a handshake there. I think that's a little cheap shot. Yeah, right. That is. That's not. I mean, he, did he say sorry? No, he no, no, no. He said, he said I will not apologize for it. He said right. just the opposite. I uh, won't apologize for being enthusiastic he, after a win. Right. He's an a-hole. All right, simple as that. Schwartzy should not be fined, uh, and uh, and I don't know how you would expect Schwartzy to react to that. Honestly, I went to congratulate uh, Coach Harbaugh and got shoved out of the way, and then um, didn't expect a um, didn't expect an insanity at that point. So um, it, was, it was a surprise to me at the end of the game. You know, it works for both coaches. I mean, they're in the spotlight. They're they're standing up for their team. You know, the right. players. You know, they're they're fight. Uh, you know, we're gonna fight. And if they play again, it'll take all the attention off the players. Yes, which is in generally a good thing for a young right. team. I hope they play again. And if they do, I'm rooting for Schwartzy. I hope he sticks it in this guy's face. This and, totally supersedes and, the Belichick Mangini little you oh, know, yeah, thing. Oh, yeah. well, how are they going to do? Are they going to look at each other? How long is the handshake going to be? Belichick just shoved the photographer. He yes, would never right, shove Jim another Davis. coach. Just one of those green flies, Jim Davis. Uh, but in this case, I real I, I commend Schwartz, I guess, for restraint. Because if that were you, Dina, you'd have just gone up and just No, he did. Him. He tried to go after him. He chased no, him down to the, toward the no, end zone. He, he got blocked did off. Did he look like he wanted to hit him? Yeah, yeah. It looked no, like he wanted to get to him. Oh, no. That was fake. That was fake. He got to him and said, okay, break this up, somebody. Because he's smart. I mean, he knew he couldn't punch another coach. But, uh, I, you know, he could have. He, all he had to do was this. Just shove him. That would have been good. Maybe shove him to the ground. We'll have to ask Boomer Esiason at 8 o'clock what the post-game decorum is. What What are the rules in the post-game in terms of shaking hands and, 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 and taunting and, and, somebody else? And I love else. this. Like Tom Jackson, of course, wouldn't say bleep if he had a mouthful. He would never. Just said, you know, when I played, coaches didn't shake hands. I love this solution is don't shake hands. Well, how about you just shake hands and, and move and, on? And move on, yeah. And, 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 and what's so hard about that? They do it at every level of football. The coach shakes hands with the other coach. Mm. It's not a big deal. It's, you don't have to say, oh, let's not shake hands because you never know what will happen. Now, doesn't How about Harbaugh, this, Harbaugh? You don't push the other coach. Yeah. Harbaugh has two coaches now. Like Pete, Pete Carroll hates Harbaugh. I was right, right? Pete Carroll does not like Harbaugh. Right. Those yes. two those two kids don't get along. Based on the Stanford shenanigans. Is that what it was? Yes. What happened there? When when Harbaugh rolled up the score on, on oh, Carroll last year, yeah. when Andrew Luck was yeah, dropping he's, bombs he's on got some, And he's only been in the league for five games. Right. So he's to, got 29 <laughs> more coaches to piss off. Only 29 more to go. I think he's safe with the Baltimore coach. But other yeah, than that, that's probably true. Other than that, yeah. he's going to have a lot of enemies, and he's riding high now. But when Alex Smith looks in the mirror and remembers that he's Alex Smith, mm. he's going to have some <laughs> hard days ahead. Sports, Sports Radio WEEI, now on 93.7 FM in Boston.